give a little review of our first week. We're one weekend, uh, finished the weekend 1-0-1-1, uh, had a game against St. Mary's on Saturday and a game against St. Thomas on Sunday. Um, the game against St. Mary's was uh, a pretty good start for our club. Uh, we had a big night in net from uh, Stu Van Ess, uh, getting his first uh, career win as well as first career shutout. Um, we came away with the victory 4 nothing, and uh, I thought we learned a lot about our own team in that game. Um, we had a good night on special teams, uh, with going 3 for 7 on the power play and shutting down uh, St. Mary's power play throughout the night. So. Uh, a lot of things to build on from that night. Uh, again, a great performance by our goaltending, uh, special teams, and some of those key aspects uh, in order to win hockey games. So, um, came back the next night against St. Thomas with, uh, you know, a pretty good showing. We were we had a one goal lead going into the third period. Uh, took that all the way down to about three minutes left in the game, and then an unfortunate uh, incident where. Uh, you know, we get a penalty called on us and they score a power play goal to tie it up. But uh, throughout that game, I thought we played very well. Again, our uh, special teams were okay, but it shows you a little bit with uh, a night of St. Thomas being able to watch what we do on the power play. We need to work on our power play this week to learn how to um, go against teams that have a better idea of what we're doing and where we're going to be and, and uh, how to um, capitalize on some of those things. So uh, we'll work on our power play quite a bit this week. But um, you know, in that game against St. Thomas, again, another good night from Stu, uh, Stu Van Ness. And, um, you know, we had a big goal from Connor Rooney, who uh, uh, not necessarily known as a goal scorer for our team, more of a role-playing guy, but came up with a big goal. And uh, just kind of a, a muck and grind kind of goal, uh, getting to the front of the net and, and finding a rebound. So um, very happy with our performance altogether. Um, again, one goal called back that... Uh, in our minds thought we went over the goal line, but um, you know, one of those things that happens. I thought we, we played very well, um, could have come away with a win there, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll survive with a tie and, and look forward to build on that momentum. Give a little preview of our weekend this uh, coming up here. Uh, we're heading up to the, to the Duluth area and uh, playing um, Scholastica uh, the first night in Duluth, and then the second night on uh, Saturday, 4 o'clock, we will be playing Superior uh, over in Superior, Wisconsin. Uh, both teams are going to be very difficult teams, very good teams. Um, you know, they're going to have some, some good older freshmen, uh, junior hockey players that are going to, um, you know, challenge us physically. Both teams were preseason uh, ranked nationally um, and both uh, had different kind of results from this past weekend with uh, Scholastica uh, sweeping uh, Stevens Point and Superior actually getting swept by River Falls, but uh, you know Superior was a preseason ranked team and number four in the country. Um, you know we'll see where they come out after that past weekend, but again, going to be both uh, very good teams, uh, very good test for our club to see where we are uh, in a national setting. Um, you know we take a lot of pride in, in our Mayak hockey, and, and it's going to be a good opportunity for all the Mayak teams this weekend to go and play uh, some of the. NCHA teams over in Wisconsin um, to kind of see where our league stacks up nationally. So uh, we're looking forward to this. Uh, we're, we feel like we're prepared after a weekend of play in the MIAC Showcase. Um, and we're hoping that we can go up there and make a good showing for not only St. John's, but uh, for MIAC hockey and come away with a couple wins. So going to be a challenge, but uh, we're ready for it.